I've interviewed Jeff Skunk Baxter three times, and each time there's a different person who asks me, did Jeff ever get on stage? And is, is this story true? He got on stage with the Doobie Brothers wearing slippers and a robe. And it turns out there's a lot more to the story, I find out, according to Jeff Skunk Baxter. Okay, silly question, then I'll let you go. Um, Ask any question you want. Darren Lowry asks, did he really go on stage in a bathrobe and slippers with the Doobie Brothers? Yeah. Why? I don't know. (laughs) Just felt like it. In the same way as uh, I I got, Mark Volman sent me a copy of his book. Mark and I were friends for years from the Turtles. And when they had that band Flo and Eddie, uh, they opened the show for the Doobie Brothers a couple of times. So there was a, during Oktoberfest, I thought, okay, we'll have some fun. So I had the hotel. We were staying at a very, very nice hotel. Cater a dinner on stage for Mark and Howard. Set up a beautiful table, exquisitely set up. Dinner for two, candlelight dinner, nice wine, sous chef, everything. And so while we were doing this performance, rocking away, Mark and Howard were out there having dinner on stage. And I look over at Mark and we go, whether it was performance art or whatever, I just thought things like that were important to do. I don't know. I, I, I think if you take yourself too seriously, you're probably going down the wrong road. The sax player, Jared Arosmina. Oh, she talk about out of the blue. I mean, I'm down in Winchester playing with um, uh, Dan Accord's brother. He's got this band. Uh, uh, Tom Principato, great guitar player. You know, just sort of an outdoor hang Apple Festival band thing. And he stepped up and played saxophone. And I went, my God, wh- where, are, wh- what planet are you from? I, incredible. He's the same kind of sax player, um, Edgar Winter. That kind of sax player. There's a place on the planet where only certain people are allowed to reside. And he's one of them. And Edgar's like that. I mean, I when I when I heard alto him play alto sax, it blew me away. And the the same with Jared. Just you know, count it off. Let's go. Jared asked me to ask you that. It was him. I asked on Facebook, "Do you have any questions uh, for Jeff?" And he said, "Please tell him that his name, sax player who played with him, and uh, Nils Lofgren, Dan Aykroyd." Please say hi. He wanted you to. He wants. Oh, I should. I should get back in touch with him because if I could think of any sax player that I'd like to play with, so uh, if you got any contact information, send it to me. I'll. I will. Uh, Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull. I asked him this question that's coming up, and he said, "Well, once a fan sent because everyone loves hearing this, threw a used tampon at me, and it fell down, of course. And I looked down, and I felt pressure, and I thought I was shot." He says, "What's the craziest thing a fan ever did to you?" Wow. <laughs> Gee. Um... Do people have preconceived ideas because of your, you know, you look like the ultimate dude uh, and the people think you're a certain way because I have to admit when I found out that you were a brainiac, um, I, I don't was, know about that, but you're very kind, but I, w- I was pleasantly <laughs> surprised. And I remember going, well, I put this, you know, cause when I first saw you, obviously I thought, Oh, that guy's a dude. That guy's a dude. Like, and then of course I started really researching you uh, uh, when I was younger and I went, my God, I started paying attention. I'm a, I'm a drummer. I'm not a guitarist. So I, I remember changing my, and I went, oh God, I ju- I've judged people. But but you look like the ultimate rocker. You look like a like a dude. Well, I appreciate that. I'll take that as a compliment. It is. <clears throat> I don't take anything as a compliment. Um, uh, I, I can't really remember anything that fans have done. You certainly get some strange letters. 
um, from both males and females. And of course, I have to be careful because I'm not good at the pronouns. So I don't mean to offend anyone. Um, I, I did get sucker punched once. Why? I'm not quite sure. But. Like from I, a fan? From a fan? I don't know. It was, it was, it was after a sound check. Then I'd walked out into the parking lot of uh, where we were playing and I just got sucker punched. Um, now I grew up in Mexico, right? So as a gringo in a country where some people liked you and some people didn't, you learn very quickly to take care of yourself. And so he did sucker punch the wrong guy. Because he's, he, he, instead of running away, he stayed there. Uh, probably wasn't the best decision he'd ever made. Uh, but for the most part, people are, people do things, even if it's crazy, mostly because they want to connect with you. I think people throw things on stage. And, and, you know, throw things at you and stuff. It's not because they're being mean. They, they're trying to figure out a way to reach out and connect. I don't see it as being hostile. But that's unconscious, <clears throat> though, for the most part. Uh, I, do you think they're really conscious of that? Because I've done, no. I mean, I used to ask, I used to, when I first got on the radio, I'd ask a, a question of going, why do people laugh at a, a, they go to a funeral and they laugh because they, they don't know how to deal with whatever it is, the that's emotion correct. they've got, right? Uh, most, most people don't have the level of self-awareness that is necessary to be able to do the personal analysis to really understand uh, what their psychological makeup is and what their, uh, what their drivers are, what their impetus is. And of drivers. course, very few people don't understand the whole concept we talked about, about neurotransmitters and you know how all that works and being able to get outside above that to be able to see it from an objective point of view and not not be a victim of being inside it but understanding it from the outside there's information on jeff skunk baxter's brand new album his first solo album of all time sure took him a lot of years he's thinking of doing another one now by the way right in the description of this video Remember, if you want to make a donation to the channel, there are links at the very top to PayPal. You can join our Patreon, get early access to all our videos from all of our channels. But really, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, share them on social media, and comment on them. I'm John Bowden. This is Rocky Stream Music. Take good care of yourself. Mm -hmm.